Alright guys, Master My Tech here with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to actually be changing out the batteries in these Pokemon games. These are my all original Pokemon games that I have owned since I was a child. Um, but sadly, when I was a child, both of these two games stopped saving pretty pretty fast um, when I had them. My gold one, I actually just recently put in. The game save is gone. I'm really sad. But when Pokemon Yellow still has its original save on it. So I want to try to see if I can save this by putting this into a Game Boy Advance to try to see if I could be able to change the battery without... Um losing my save that would be awesome so yeah in this video i'm going to actually be changing out the batteries in these three games i actually do have an extra copy of pokemon red that i'm going to be taking out of this dmg here and i'm going to be changing out the batteries to new batteries i got five new batteries just waiting for these so hopefully i can save my save in this and the other pokemon red and then uh yeah so if you guys want to stick around for the rest of the video i'm going to try to see hopefully if i can save the game saves if not i'll just change the batteries and we'll be good Alright guys, so we're going to be taking a look at these Pokemon games here. So these are the Pokemon games that I've had since I was a kid. Um, I do have two versions of Pokemon Red because my original one um, uh, stopped saving. So we had a new one, didn't know that there was batteries in these back in the day. And then that one's going to be this one here, which actually still saves. This and the Pokemon Yellow both still save. So I want to try to see if hopefully I'm able to repair both of those without losing my save. But in these, I'm going to be changing out the battery. So let me go ahead and get started on that. So we're going to be using my iFixit toolkit that I always use. Really, really good. But luckily, it actually has game bits inside of it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to get the game bit one, which should be this one here. And I should be able to just open up these games. Go ahead and stick it here in the back. And then there it goes. All right. So let's go ahead and take that screw out. Go ahead and slide this up. And then pull this out. I don't think I've ever opened these up in my entire life. So this is going to be what the inside of a Pokemon Red cartridge looks like. So this is the battery that I'm going to be desoldering, and I'm going to be desoldering on a new one. The battery kind of bounces in there. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get my soldering iron on in order to solder this one off. And then we're going to be soldering on a new battery. So this game has never saved um, for a very long time. That's why we bought two. So hopefully after this, this will save. So let me go ahead and heat up my soldering iron so I can remove this. All right, so now that I got the batteries, I did buy a bunch of them. These are going to be the Panasonic brand, which everybody recommends for old Pokemon games. So on the actual board, it's labeled plus and minus. Minus is going to be down here at the bottom, and it looks like plus is up here at the top. This battery looks like it's actually put on upside down. So on this, this is going to be the positive side up here, since it is at the top, and that's going to be the negative side at the bottom. But the way these batteries go on, they won't be able to go on upside down like this current battery is. It's going to have to go right side up like this. So let me go ahead and grab my soldering iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to desolder this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tweezers. And I'm going to desolder this battery. Okay, so I got that one off. Then let me go ahead and take this other leg off here. Try to see if I can get under it. Go ahead and push this on there. And then bam, that's gonna be both of the legs off there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put on a little bit more solder onto this. So let me go ahead and get more solder out. This side looks like it has plenty of solder, but this side looks like I took some of it off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put more on. That side looks like it'll be okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the positive side of the battery, which is now going to be this top part here, and I'm going to be soldering both sides down. So I'm going to solder the negative side first.
Okay, that'll be the negative side down there. And then I'm going to solder down this positive side. Which looks like I need to move the battery over a bit. It's over too far. Okay. All right, now it looks like I'll be able to hit this top pad here. Right, so I'm going to put a little bit more on this bottom one as I didn't hit it very well with some solder. So I'm going to put a little bit more. There we go. All right, now that should be the battery all good as new. So let me go ahead and put this back inside of here. So we'll go ahead and stick this back in the front like that. I'm going to go ahead and put the back back on, going from the top. Looks like this board needs to go back in there centered. And then I just need to get these to line up where each side will go in correctly. So I'm going to just push this board to the back of the here, and I'm going to push this here and slide back. I was trying to do it backwards. <laughs> so we will go ahead and we will put the screw back. So that should be done. So I'm going to go ahead and take my newly modified Game Boy. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Go ahead and turn this on. And then I'm going to play through the game until I get to the point where I can save. So I should just be able to save from here. So go ahead and save. All right, so now I have saved the game. We'll go ahead and shut it off. Turn it back on. Well, let's see if it saves now. Go ahead and turn that down a bit. And look what it says there. It now says continue. And I'm able to continue with my game just as it were normally. So I actually call that mission accomplished. So I am actually super glad that that actually works so I now can save on this game. So now I'm going to test out my Pokemon Blue, which I have not done yet, which should say new game as well. I'm really sad that my Pokemon Gold lost its game save from my childhood, which really is a bummer. Yeah, this one hasn't saved for a very long time either. I know this one saved up until recently, but it stopped. Yeah, new game. I'm really sad that it lost the game save. So, time to change out the battery in this Pokemon Gold and this Pokemon Blue, since I already did this Pokemon Red. Let's go ahead and put that to the side, and let's go ahead and do the same thing I did with that red with these. Alright, so there's going to be Pokemon Blue done there. Go ahead and put this one back in here. Go ahead and put that back together. And just got to verify that this one works as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this in here.
Go ahead and save. All right, I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. And that one now says continue as well. So this one is working. All right, now to do my Pokemon Gold. Oh, so this one actually, the battery looks newer and looks more like one of the modern ones that I'm changing it out for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I've been doing on all of my games. So let me go ahead and desolder this one. This one looks like it's actually not floating like the old ones. Now I'm going to check this gold. To go through the same thing, I'm going to go through the whole setup. should be able to save. Okay, now I should be able to turn it off and on. And it now says continue and it actually keeps the date. That's crazy to be able to do that again. Sucks my old game save's gone. All right, so now for the tricky one. So now that I'm done with all of my Pokemon games, all the reds and all my other ones, now I'm gonna try something. This is my Game Boy from when I was a kid, which I'm going to be used to try this. This is my original Pokemon Yellow, which still has a save on it. So if I put this in here and turn it on, Yeah, I did my screen protector weird back in the day. So you can see there's a continue on here, which is going to be my original game save. So I'm hoping to be able to save this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this game out. I am going to open the back up. So because I don't want to ruin this Pokemon yellow cartridge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that donor cartridge from that other game that I had, and I'm going to carefully remove this game, put it into the back of that Japanese game that I had earlier that I bought for $2. I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the console back on, So this is going to be very tricky to do, so hopefully it works. So I'm going to load my game save. So it's currently loaded. So while it's loading, okay, on the back of this plus is on this side, minus is on this side. So I'm going to keep the volume up so I know that it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually desolder this battery while it's in the game. So let me go ahead and lift this corner. I want to try to not destroy this plastic housing, but just in case.
Okay. Then what I want to make sure is that I put this battery in correctly. So negative will go on this side and positive will go on the other. So I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to put new solder down. Because this old solder is not working out real well. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put more solder on the end here. So I'm going to make sure that it's definitely down because if I do this wrong, it won't work. Okay, so I'm going to check the battery. Battery looks like it is secured. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit start, go ahead and save the game. All right, so now it's the moment of truth. We go ahead and we will shut it off, turn it back on. Let's see if the game save saved. And it still says continue. Oh Lord. So it looks like it's still working. My game save is saved from when I was a child. 255 hours in this, all 151. Must have cheated for that Mew. <laughs> so I'm gonna resave it just in case. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off. And now I'm gonna take this back out and I'm gonna put it back into its original casing. Go ahead and we'll take this out carefully. And we're gonna put it back in the Pokemon yellow case. Okay, then we're gonna put this back on. So it looks like that battery, I think, is actually bigger than the original. So the cartridge kind of bulges now. So that kind of sucks. But as long as it saves, I don't really care. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it back into my Game Boy. i going to put my batteries back in. Turn it on. It's crazy that it looks like a Game Boy Color. It looks like it, like my game save is still there. It's awesome that it still works. It's actually really cool how this looks like it's a Game Boy Color because it has a Pokemon Yellow theme for it, for one of the uh, colors. That'd be it in just black and white. But it's cool like this. It looks like Game Boy Color. It's actually the screen doing that. It's actually putting a color palette on everything. But yeah, so that was me changing out the batteries in these Pokemon games. So I'm glad that the save worked on this. I'm very sad that it did not work out on my Pokemon Red. 
Uh, the Pokemon Red one, for some reason, when I went to go put it in the Game Boy Advance, I guess I wiggled the battery and the battery just came loose or something. And uh, I guess because it has this little, like that thing, extra piece that comes off of it, it didn't work. This ended up not working with the same method that I used on this. It ended up just erasing the game save. So sadly, I did lose this game save, but luckily I was able to keep my Pokemon Yellow one. All right, guys, if you guys want to give a like on this video, that'd be great. If you guys want to leave a comment in the comment section below for comments for any future videos, and if you guys want to leave a subscribe in the way out, that would be awesome. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.